Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I'm the style blogger behind rachelreview.com for anybody that's new here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about bagborrowersteal.com. So this video will be a full on review of the website what I use the website for, which is mostly renting designer handbags. And I'll also do a little bit of an unboxing of the handbag that I'm currently borrowing from the website. So I hope you guys can learn a lot from this video. If you have any questions at all at the end of it, please leave me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. So let's just dive right into this. Okay. Now I have been using bagborrowersteel.com for about one to maybe two years and I mostly use the website for renting designer bags. So you can also buy designer bags on the website, you can sell designer bags on the website and you can rent them. So thus the name bag borrow or steal even though there's no stealing but basically I think they're just referring to the fact that you're getting these bags at a really great price. So for the steel part that is. And I've had a lot of great success with it. I love going on there. They have tons of sales all the time. I love the fact that their rental prices go on sale. So if something's been like at the $200 range for a while, sometimes it'll drop down to like 150. And that's when I usually pull the trigger for things like Louis Vuitton bags. When you go on there, it's really, really simple. It's easily laid out. I really like browsing through the borrow section and the new arrival section and then seeing what's available by clicking on the top area of the website. You can see what's currently being rented, for how long, and everything that you rent on the website, you can rent for one month. So you have one month and that's from the time the bag arrives at your doorstep to the time that you send the bag back. So they include everything on your account, like shipping labels, they have the date that you need to return it on there, which is really, really helpful. And I've never had a problem with borrowing a bag at all. And the only thing that you do need to be really careful for when you borrow a bag on Bag Borrower Steel is that if you get the bag dirty, you, and dirty beyond like normal wear and tear. So I'm not talking about, you know, it got like a little dirty on the inside, but it's easily cleanable. I'm talking about like pen stains, makeup stains, or really bad scratches on the bag. If you damage the bag, you own it. So I'm very, very careful when I borrow bags. I don't put pens in them. I don't put lipstick in them, which is kind of like a downfall because those are two things that I like to have in my handbags. I'm just super careful with it because I do not want to buy a bag that I'm just renting. So there's that. The other thing too is that bagborrowersteel.com is a great way to test out luxury and designer handbags before you pull the trigger on a purchase. So you guys will see in my Louis Vuitton Palace Satchel review that I borrowed that bag. I love that bag. And that is a bag that I would love to get maybe for my birthday this year, or for Christmas or something. But that bag is just absolutely amazing. And I got to test that out without having to commit to the, pr the full price of the bag by renting it online. So that is awesome. All of the bags are completely authenticated. They come with an authentication card. They've got all of their original cards from Louis Vuitton or Chanel or anything like that inside the bag. And you know you're getting something authentic, which is really great. And I'm trying to think of what else too, because I'm, I'm eager to get into this unboxing because I've actually been wearing this bag. I will tell you, I've been wearing this bag, so I'm eager to show you how it came in the mail. But another thing too about Bag Borrower Steel is that at first, when I first started renting from them, they had a credit check, which I really wasn't too crazy about, but now, all you have to do is send in your license once to rent a bag and they authenticate the fact that you're a real person, that you're not a scam artist and you get to borrow as many bags as you like. And I shouldn't say that because you only get to borrow one bag a month. But what I mean is after that initial check-in where they see like, you know, that you're an okay person to let borrow their bags. After they do like a check on you with your license, you're free to go and borrow all the handbags that you want. So that's really exciting. You can rent all sorts of designers on Bag Borrower Steel. They have Louis Vuitton, they have Chanel, they have Burberry, they have Valentino, they have Tory Burch, they have, I'm actually not sure if they have Michael Kors, but they basically have a lot of designers that you can check on the website for and all of their bags too are really the most current and trending bags. So let's talk about like the Gucci Dionysus bag, right? Super trending bag right now. They've got it and they've got it in multiple colors. So 
Once it comes up, if you have it saved to your wish list, you'll get the notification and then you really wanna pull the trigger on that bag because there are a ton of women on this website buying up bags or renting handbags and you don't wanna miss out because then if the bag that you want has been rented, it's off the market for a month. So the great thing is that you get to wear the bag that you rent for a month. The negative thing is that if you have your eye on the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, for example, that bag is on there for you to rent. If you get that alert and you can get that bag in your shopping cart before anybody else, you've got the bag. You can't even buy that bag anywhere right now in the monogram print. It's ridiculous, but you can borrow it on Bag Borrower Steel for a fraction of the cost. So that's the really exciting thing about Bag Borrower Steel. All right, so let's just dive right into this unboxing. So here is the box as it comes in the mail. Now, clearly I've, I have opened this before and that's because when it comes to your doorstep, you're like, oh, handbags in the mail, this is awesome. So there's a lot of excitement when your handbag comes in the mail and it really is like Christmas when you get something new that you wouldn't normally have. I love it, I love it, I really do. And you guys will love it too if you decide to borrow a bag on there. You can borrow it for other like occasions, for just wear and tear. If you're a blogger, you can borrow handbags to take pictures with, which is what I do, unless I've actually bought the bag. But I always let you guys know like, hey, this is a rental and it was like, okay, or I bought this bag because I love this bag. So you can see more of those videos on my channel if you want. So as you can see here, it comes, it's got its little packaging here, and it actually has this sticker where it says bagborrowersteel.com on it. And then, ta-da! <laughs> it has the handbag, and as you can see, I got a Louis Vuitton bag for this rental, right? It has it in its original duffel bag. It has a little thank you card with instructions on it. And we've got some puff that just came out some nice sealed air <laughs> and here we go so dun, 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 dun. we have the Louis Vuitton bag right here and uh, <laughs> I got the Louis Vuitton Flandron bag and just look at this it is absolutely stunning this is a really sexy looking handbag and the first time I came across this was actually when I was shopping for a Louis Vuitton wallet and scarf for a birthday gift for somebody. Actually, no, I was buying, okay, so we were buying Mark's mom a bag for Christmas, right? Mark is my boyfriend for anyone that's new here. And we, she's like a tote lover, right? She adores tote bags. She wears them all the time. And we wanted to get her a really nice Louis Vuitton tote. So we went to Copley in Boston, where I'm from. And there it was on the shelf the Flandron bag. I wasn't sure that she was gonna love this bag right away because she likes to have a more zipper top. So we actually ended up buying the Tornell, which maybe I can get her to let me borrow that for a review for you guys. But yeah, so saw this bag though, and I have been thinking about it ever since because it is such a beautiful looking bag. It's just got this really interesting shape, right? It's got these nice, like this nice tuckered in, if that's even a word, sides on the bag. Right? And then it's got this nice little two-tone thing where you've got the monogram print, but then you've got it accented in a black noir leather. Oh, and I love this material on the inside. I love that. So let's also go into the bag too and show you what it comes with. So I will be honest with you guys. Like I said, I have opened this bag before. This isn't a true unboxing, but I just wanted to give you guys the full effect of what I had so it comes with these tags that say all items are guaranteed authentic right and it also says if the bag is damaged when you get it like if there's a slight scratch and you're thinking oh my gosh am i gonna have to buy this bag because they sent it to me and it's got like a slight scratch don't worry they have this card in here that says the true beauty of this bag is on the outside. We know the interior shows some signs of love. Don't worry, you won't be charged for existing wear on the inside of this bag. Please enjoy and handle with care. So the awesome thing too is that they'll let you know if like, hey, there's a minor scratch. And I, I really can't even see the stain that's on the inside of this bag. Yeah, maybe it's like at the bottom, there's some like lightly, lightly dusted like maybe that's the stain i don't even know i can barely see it so it's exciting that it still looks brand new here we have the louis vuitton oh 
Oh yeah, this comes on the outside of the bag too. So these things are not considered normal wear and tear. Makeup stains, ink pen stains, and denim rub. I forgot to mention the denim rub. Do not get denim rub on your bag. <laughs> um, and if you wanna return your bag when it comes in the mail, don't take these little tags off that are kind of, they're placed right on the front of the bag like this actually. So don't take these little tags off because this will be like your key to send it back and get a refund and then put that money towards another rental. If you see the bag and you're like, mm -mm, this isn't gonna work for me, I don't like it, no way. But I saw this bag before I bought it, or rented it rather, and I knew right away that I wanted to rent this. So look at that, the Flandrin. <laughs> This is, like I said, the card that comes with it from Louis Vuitton, so you can read all about the leather, all about the Toron handles, all about the monogram canvas, which is not leather. I said that once in a video, huge mistake, and you guys were quick to jump on it, and I appreciate that. So keeping me in check, that's always great. But that is it for this Bag Borrow or Steal review and unboxing. I really love the service. It's fun to browse, it's fun to check out. If you get on their email list, they'll alert you when your wishlist item comes up for sale. They'll also alert you to site-wide sales and specials that go on. And they always have a current handbag that everyone is lusting after on there. So you will definitely have a lot of fun. Check it out. I will link everything down below as well as my review of this Flandrin bag, which I will do after I wear it for a little bit, but I will get the review of this bag up for you fully to see how I like it and everything else. If you enjoyed this review and you wanna see more videos about style and fashion, make sure to subscribe down below by clicking on the subscribe button and I will catch you guys next time here on my channel. Bye.